Okay guys, so here we have some experimental items, diorama props. The idea is an exobiology lab combines alien botany and microbiology and so on. So, um, first thing I wanted to do is make some petri dishes. So I made these using duckweed from a local pond um, and various clay, different colors of clay. And the, the way I made it look like little glass containers, so I just took some action figure packaging plastic, punched holes with your standard hole punch. And then for a fixative to mount the stuff between the two little holes, punched out holes, I used uh, Tester's clear part cement. So uh, that way it comes out clear, it doesn't fog up the plastic. So those are various samples. It'll be in the lab. I'm putting together some other items. I made this uh, stereoscopic microscope out of electronic and watch parts and those bottles uh, were parts from that lighter wand I took apart. And this is just a key my laptop that goes in the inside there. Um, so I gathered specimens, lichen. This is cool, a pixie kind, pixie cup. And this is uh, from the walnut uh, tree. The leaves have these weird deformations that I cut out and put clay underneath to make some kind of creatures. And here's an interesting uh, specimen. This is pond water with uh, a bunch of ant eggs I found underneath a board. So you can see the white ant eggs in there. And it's weird because they, for some reason, they float to the top and then uh, they sit up there for a while and then they float back down almost like a lava lamp. It's kind of creepy. And so here's some other things. Uh, over here I got different molds that are incubating uh, on top of a little laptop to, for warmth. Um, here is some of the different uh, plant life I've gathered yesterday just walking around the neighborhood uh, this thing is uh, going to be a long-term experiment this is uh, uh, a bacteriological zoo closed system back in the 1880s I think uh, Sergei Winogradsky took pond water and mud and uh, made a closed system and eventually various bacterias will form strata uh, anaerobic ones that don't need oxygen on the bottom and of course the oxygen photosynthesis ones on the top and uh, some of the fixed nitrogen all that break down cellulose and so on you can look it up online it'll show you how to make it it's very simple <coughs> I'm going to set that aside and let it develop. In the back row we have some other things I made. Um, this is interesting. This is... I, I peeled this stuff off a big piece of wood that had been on the ground for a long time. So you have that kind of fungus. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on, and um, how soon this will be put together, 
I'm not sure. A couple other things I thought I'd show you. Um, see all these little wooden dowels? Different sizes I got in here. And, you know, dowel rods are pretty expensive to buy. But you can go to the uh, 99 cent store and buy a set of these foam brushes. And they come with these wooden handles. Just pull the, the useless little foam pieces up. You get all different uh, sizes of these little wooden dowels. And I thought they would be great for making uh, bollards. You know, the uh, things you have in parking lots. They're usually concrete filled, painted yellow to protect property and so on and for a couple bucks you can get a whole slew of them another thing to look out for at the uh, thrift store are uh, various types of curlers because uh, they make excellent armatures for robots for parts in uh, sci-fi labs and uh, if you're into making kit bash uh, or scratch built uh, spaceships and so on so here's just look at all the variety you can get which is just a, a, a plethora of the different kinds you can get so something to look out for in the fodder so for Sergei Wodogodsky, I am out.